So the other day, J.D. Vance did an event with uh, this religious freak by the name of Lance Wallnow. And, uh, I mean, that, it was incredible because this guy is legitimately insane. So insane that I actually think this should become a campaign issue. You should have uh, Democratic surrogates talking about this endlessly because it shows you what MAGA has become. So we have a new video here from Right Wing Watch. This, this is the stuff Lance Wallnow talks about. Uh, and of course he doesn't realize that anybody to the left of Genghis Khan is listening to this, but, uh, listen to what he said about Kamala. Listen. I saw Kamala Harris as being the one that the devil was going to use to push through the white house. And that I saw mm -hmm. that early on and I actually had a, uh, a vision, which I thought was a warning from the Lord of her at an inauguration. And she had a Bible. And she had done something like put a Hindu prayer book with it. And it was like she did an inauguration and was putting her hand on a modified Bible as part of her. Uh, and the Lord told me back then, he said that that is how the devil intends to bring in the destruction of this country. It's the final phase. So in other words, uh, Kamala Harris was handpicked by the devil, by Satan, to destroy the country. That's what this guy's saying. Now, I need you to understand, this guy, he does not mean it in a metaphorical sense, right? He means it in a literal sense. The guy is a religious psychopath. He's a evangelical fundamentalist creep. And so when he says, the devil chose Kamala, like, he literally means it. Look, these, these sorts of psycho people exist. But you don't have to have your VP do an event with them. What is it? What does it put out there to the world? What does it prove when your VP is snuggling up to this guy and doing public events with him? Look, that's a cosign, right? That's a cosign. And they don't care about the content of the people they're aligning themselves with, right? By the same token, they were out there doing the Haitians eat cats and dogs stuff. That was a, literally a neo Nazi lie that came from a group called Blood Tribe. And they would repeat that lie over and over. And of course, they're whipping up anti-immigrant fears, even though these Haitian immigrants are legal immigrants. And all the reporting com coming out of Springfield shows they're model citizens. They revive the local churches. They are going to work, right? And they're whipping up this, like, harassment campaign. And by the way, guys, why would J.D. Vance snuggle up to a guy like this? Why would this guy say the sort of psychotic stuff that he says? He also calls her the spirit of Jezebel or something like that, literally talking about d demons and angels and, uh, you know, there's a broader spiritual war going on. They do this because they know they cannot talk about Trump's actual record and the stuff he did. Because the stuff he did is bad, right? They know that. They know it's bad. I mean, we've gone through the list before, but just to give you a few, uh, do you guys know that Trump gutted internet privacy rights? He passed a bill. Th this may be an actual record in terms of how few people supported this bill. It had 6% support, the bill that cutted internet, internet privacy rights, and he signed it. Why? Why did that become law? Well, it became law because Trump is bought by those companies, right? So he's like, sure, I'll sign it. Trump tried to do health care reform in 2017. The Trump care bill it was called like the American Health Care Act or something like that. 8% of the country wanted that bill passed. It got rid of your protections for pre-existing conditions. He, of course, did his massive tax cut for the top 1%, where 83% of the benefits went to the richest. That bill incentivized outsourcing. He picked a predatory payday lender to be the head of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau so that he could destroy it. And then you don't have a watchdog looking out for average Americans against big financial institutions that are shaking them down. We discussed the other week, Trump deregulated deli meats. And then, oh, would you look at that? Uh, there was just a listeria outbreak and 57 people were hospitalized and nine were killed because he deregulated deli meat. He, they also deregulated chemicals and water and air and outsourced 200,000 jobs and the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade and he didn't increase the minimum wage. Uh, two million Americans lost health care under Trump. Never mind the 91 criminal charges and trying to overthrow the election. Guys, they can't talk about any of the specifics because the specifics are bad and makes their people look like shit. So what are they doing? It pivots to not just a personal attack. It's like beyond a personal attack. My opponent is literally controlled by Satan, is controlled by the devil. 
And that's all they got. That's all they got. I mean, this should be, again, I haven't heard mainstream media talk about the fact that J.D. Vance snuggled up to this guy. I haven't heard the Democrats talk about the fact that uh, J.D. Vance snuggled up to this guy. He did an event with this absolute psychopath. And this is the sort of shit that this guy says. Guys, there, there, there absolutely is a difference between the parties. Don't let anybody tell you that's not the case. You do not see Democratic politicians getting together with, uh, you know, some weirdo, tanky YouTuber who's like a Stalin apologist and having a, a casual, chummy back and forth. You don't see that. But what you do see is, on the Republican side, guys like Lance Wall now actually have power. They have sway. So... Do with that information what you will, but I don't know why more people aren't talking about this. I mean, these evangelical fundamentalists are absolutely nuts, and uh, you do not want to be a room, in a room with these guys. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop, and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.